Controversy from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Controversy. Controversy is a state of prolonged public dispute or debate, usually concerning a matter of conflicting opinion or point of view. The word was coined from the Latin controversia as a composite of controversus, turned in an opposite direction from contra, against, and vertir, to turn, or versus, see verse, hence to turn against. The most applicable or well-known controversial subjects, topics, or areas are politics, religion, and sex. Other areas of controversy include history and philosophy. Other minor yet prominent areas of controversy are economics, science, finances, culture, education, the military, society, celebrities, organisation, the media, age, gender and race. Controversy in matters of theology has traditionally been particularly heated, giving rise to the phrase odium theologicum. Controversial issues are held as potentially divisive in a given society, because they can lead to tension and ill will. As a result, they are often taboo to be discussed in the light of company in many cultures. Legal controversy. Main article. Controversy. Open bracket. Law. Closed bracket. In the theory of law, a controversy differs from a legal case. While legal cases include all suits, criminal as well as civil, a controversy is a purely civil proceeding. For example, the case or controversy clause of Article 3 of the United States Constitution, Section 2, Clause 1, states that the judicial power shall extend to controversies to which the United States shall be a party. This clause has been deemed to impose a requirement that United States federal court are not permitted to hear cases that do not pose an actual controversy, that is, an actual dispute between adverse parties which is capable of being resolved by the court, in addition to setting out the scope of the jurisdiction of the federal judiciary. It also prohibits courts from issuing advisory opinions or from hearing cases that are either unripe, meaning that the controversy has not arisen yet, or moot, meaning that the controversy has already been resolved. Benford's Law of Controversy Main Article Benford's Law of Controversy Benford's Law of Controversy, as expressed by science fiction author Gregory Benford in 1980, states, Passion is inversely proportional to the amount of real, true information available. In other words, the fewer facts are known to and agreed on by the participants, the more controversy there is, and the more is known, the less controversy there is. Thus, for example, controversies in physics are limited to subject areas where experiments cannot be carried out yet, whereas Benford's law implies that controversy to inherent politics are where communities must infrequently decide on courses of action based on insufficient information. Psychological Basis of Controversy Controversies are frequently thought to be a result of a lack of confidence on the part of the disputants, as in Benford's Law of Controversy. For example, in the political controversy over anthropogenic climate change that is prevalent in the United States, it has been thought that those who are opposed to the scientific consensus did so because of a lack of evidence. A study of 1,540 US adults found instead that levels of scientific literacy were correlated with the strength of opinion on climate change, but not on which side of the debate that they stood. The puzzling phenomenon of two individuals being exposed to the same evidence and being able to reach different conclusions has been frequently explained, particularly by David Kahneman, by reference to a bounded rationality. That is, most judgments are made by fast-acting heuristics system one that work well in everyday situations, but are not amenable on decision-making about complex subjects such as climate change. Anchoring has been particularly identified as relevant on climate change controversies, as individuals are found to be more positively inclined to believe in climate change if the outside temperature is higher, if they have been primed to think about heat, and if they are primed with higher temperatures when thinking about 
the future temperature increases from climate change. Other controversies, such as that around the HPV vaccine, the same evidence seems to license inference to radically different conclusions. Cahan et al. explain this by the cognitive biases of biased assimilation and a credibility heuristic. Similar effects on reasoning are also seen in non-scientific controversies, for example in the gun control debate in the United States. As well as other controversies, it has been suggested that exposure to empirical facts would be sufficient to resolve the debate once and for all. In computer simulations of cultural communities, beliefs were found to polarise within isolated subgroups based on the mistaken belief of the community's unhindered access to ground truth. Such confidence in the group to find the ground truth is explicable through the success of wisdom of the crowd-based inferences. However, if there is no access to the ground truth, as there was not in this model, the method will fail. Bayesian decision theory allows these failures of rationality to be described as part of the statistically optimised system for decision making. Experiments and computational models in multimodal integration have shown that sensory input from different senses is integrated in a statistically optimal way. In addition, it appears that the kind of inferences used to infer single sources for multiple sensory inputs uses a Bayesian inference about the casual origin of the sensory stimuli. As such, it appears neurobiologically plausible that the brain implements decision-making procedures that are close to optimal for Bayesian inference. Brockus and Carrillo propose a model to make decisions based on noisy sensory inputs. Beliefs about the state of the world are modified by Bayesian updating, and then decisions are made based on beliefs passing to the threshold. They show that this model, when optimised for single-step decision-making, produces belief anchoring and polarisation of opinions, exactly as described in the global warming controversy context. In spite of identical evidence presented, the pre-existing beliefs, or evidence presented first, has an overwhelming effect on the beliefs formed. In addition, the preferences of the agent, the particular rewards that they value, also cause the beliefs formed to change. This explains the biased assimilation, also known as confirmation bias, shown above. This model allows the production of controversy to be seen as a consequence of a decision maker optimised for single step decision making rather than as a result of limited reasoning in the bounded rationality of Daniel Kahneman. See also Argument Bipartisanship Dialectic Procon.org This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License Available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash three point naught.